All right, this video is pretty advanced, so if you screw something up, you can mess up your PC. So just you have to be very careful and listen very, very carefully here when I'm talking about this. This will give you a kick in frames almost 100% of the time, probably, as long as you meet the minimum requirements. So for Intel, you need to have a minimum of eight cores slash threads. What you do, if you just right click on the task bar and go to task manager, Go to performance here and you can see right here what your um sorry under cpu you can see right here so i have 16 cores and 32 logical processors so you have to have a minimum of eight cores here and your logical processors if it says eight here you're okay if it's a 16 8 16 you're perfect 10 20 is perfect 12 24 16 32 is perfect as well but if you do not have more than eight cores here do not do this. So going back to here, so a minimum of eight cores. So for Intel, what we're gonna wanna do is we're, wanna, we're going to want to pin six physical cores. So I'm going to find, I'm gonna have Valorant open and I'm gonna find vgc.exe and I'm gonna hold shift. So first you're gonna need to, sorry, you're gonna need to download Process Lasso first. Then under options, CPU, Pro Balance, disable Pro Balance and enable forced mode. Just check this box here. I'll go force mode, just like that. Click vgc.exe, hold shift, and click Unreal CEF subprocess.exe, the top one. You have to make sure Valorant is open here for these to all appear. You're gonna right click CPU Affinity, always select CPU Affinity. Yours isn't gonna look like this unless you have a 5950X. If you have just eight cores, all you're gonna see is zero to seven here. You're gonna see this. So if you have eight cores and eight threads, what you're gonna do is you're gonna see you're gonna see this. This is what you're gonna see, just like this. You're gonna choose, you only need six. You're gonna disable zero and one here. You're gonna leave it two to seven, just like this. You're gonna hit okay. That's if you only have eight cores and eight threads. If you have a threaded CPU, so you have eight cores, 16 threads, 10 cores, 20 threads, so on and so forth. What you're gonna want to do is so you want to you want to select six physical cores. So if I have eight cores and sixteen threads, I'm going to see zero all the way to fifteen checked off here. So I'm going to see this, and what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to just check off six of these cores. So an affinity bit mask five 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 will enable zero two four six eight and ten, which are six physical cores. You do not want threaded cores if you have a threaded processor. If you have, this is like the like the same thing for 10 to 20 cores. What you're gonna to do is zero, two, four, six, eight, ten. 10. Same thing, you're gonna type in 555 here, so it's like six physical cores. Then what you're gonna to wanna to do is once that's done, you, you're gonna open like other programs that you wanna pin. So let's just say Discord, for example. I'm gonna open Discord, I have Discord open. What's gonna happen is I'm gonna select here and I'm gonna select all of Discord. I'm gonna right click CPU Affinity, always select CPU Affinity. And if I have eight cores and 16 threads, I'm going to take them. So if I have eight cores, 16 threads, I'll have up to 15. So I'm gonna take 12, 13, 14, and 15. And I'm gonna assign them to Discord. So I'm gonna Pretty much, I'm not I'm not assigning those same CPUs to Valorant. So zero, two, four, six, and eight are going to Valorant, and these four here are going to Discord. You can also select just the threads here as well, but it's just not needed. If you have this many cores, four is perfect for Discord. You can also I'd do Chrome. I do these four, or this is again this is only if you have zero to fifteen available. You have zero to 20 available, same thing. You could select, like let's say you have, or zero to 19. Let's say you have 10 cores, 20 threads. You can select these all to your other. So FFF, FF000, you can select all of these and you can pin them for other programs too. So let's say like OBS, for example, I can go CPU Affinity, always select CPU Affinity. And I can select these for zero to 20 threads. If I have 10 cores, 20 threads. I just have eight cores, 16 threads, it's gonna be these four here. So again, you have to be very careful with this. This is not, 
can't just start messing with this. You, if you start messing with this and you start assigning affinities wrong, you can get you screw things up in your computer. So be very careful, especially when it comes to AMD. Intel's not that bad for AMD. You have to worry about the you have to worry about the infinity fabrics. So for AMD, let's say the 5950X, I have 16 cores, 32 threads. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take 16, 16 by 32 here. Let's see, CPU affinity. I select a, select CPU affinity. I don't know what I just said there. So because I have 32 cores, I want to pin Valorant to exactly the first half. I need to make sure it stays within the first half. So 32 divided by two is 16. So it has to stay within these 16 first cores here. So 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and 14. This is what I pinned to Valorant for a 5950X. If I had a 5900X, I only have, what is it, 12 by 24, I think it is. So I'd only take 555. Five. I'd only take these here for Valorant here. Or a 50. Same thing with like a 5600X. You have to watch out for the infinity fabric. So I don't know what it is, but you have to divide it by two. And if it's not within six, then don't do it. This is mainly for 5900X. 5800X, you might be able to do it. I'd have to look, but 5900X, 5950X, stay within. Make sure you stay within the infinity fabric and only pin these cores. I took down a video just like this before because there's so many questions and people just keep asking for different CPUs. Only do this if you know what you're doing. If you don't know what you're doing, don't ask, just book an appointment with me and I'll do it for you. I'm not gonna be answering a ton of questions and comments about this because I don't wanna start, like I don't want people to mess up their CPUs and you have to be very careful when doing this. So again, you're making sure that you're only pinning physical cores and for AMD, you're staying within the Infinity Fabric. So 5950X, for example, I'm going to stay. I have 32 threads. So sorry, yeah, 32 cores. So 16 cores, 32 threads. So I'm going to stay within this first half here. And the second half, I'm going to leave alone. This is one. This right here is one Infinity Fabric. And this right here is another. So I'm going to assign those to 555. And I'm going to find something like Discord, let's say. In Discord, I'm going to CPU Affinity, always select CPU Affinity. And pretty much I'm going to grab the last half, which is FF000, I'm pretty sure. This. All of this. So this here is for Discord, because all of these cores are in a separate Infinity Fabric. So I'm going to grab these, hit OK here. And then I'm going to do that for all my other programs. Chrome, same thing. I'm going to grab all of Chrome. CPU Affinity, always select CPU Affinity, and pin these to Chrome, just off of Valorant. Riot, client ha Riot, Riot Crash Handler, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to pin these for Valorant. So for my 5950X, 5555 is going to keep me within this Infinity Fabric with only physical cores and no threaded cores. It's pretty complicated if you don't understand it, but if you kind of have an understanding, you can probably do this yourself. Again, you can book an appointment with me. I do this in all of my appointments. So yeah, this is that's pretty much covering how to pin cores in just like a general way and be very careful when doing this. It's not the easiest thing to do if you don't know what you're doing. Thanks for watching, guys.